fellow booktubers, my name is Lauren and you're watching Dreams Books Courage and today I wanted to do my yearly video of my reading year in review. Obviously this is for 2016. I did not have the best reading year this year. It was actually pretty sad to me because I've read less than half of what I read last year and the year before that. But oh well, this year was my first complete year of college, meaning that I had college both in the spring and the fall so I was just doing a lot of college stuff. And I also had a pretty bad reading slump during the summer whenever I could have read a lot. So those factors definitely really played into why I didn't read a lot this year. I only managed to read a grand total of 32 books, which isn't the worst in the world, but it's definitely not the best. I definitely read more than the average adult does during a year, but still my reading goal at the start of the year was 60 books and now it's just 30 books and I've read 33. So I am happy with what I've read and I have read a lot of great books this year. Basically, all of what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you the cover, the title, the author, and the rating that I gave the novel. And that's completely it. I don't want to go over anything specific. Obviously, I've already talked about these books in wrap-ups throughout this year. So if you want to see my thoughts specifically about these books, I'll leave a link to my playlist of my wrap-ups for this year down below. So anyways, let me show you all of the books that I've read in 2016. Five Nights at Freddy's The Silver Eyes by Scott Cawthon and Kira Breed Risley. 3 out of 5 stars. My Antonia by Willa Cather, 4 out of 5 stars. Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass, 5 out of 5 stars. The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod, 4 out of 5 stars. Lumberjanes Volume 1, Beware the Kitten Holy, which is written by Noelle Stevenson and Grace Ellis, 4 out of 5 stars. A reread of The Great Gatsby by a Scott Fitzgerald, 4 out of 5 stars. The Day of the Locust by Nathaniel West, 4 out of 5 stars. Buffalo Bill, Last of the Great Scouts by Helen Cody Wetmore, 3 out of 5 stars. Saga Volume one, which is written by Brian K. Vaughn and illustrated by Fiona Staples, 4 out of 5 stars. Yes Please by Amy Poehler, 4 out of 5 stars. Never Never Part 3, written by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher, 4 out of 5 stars. Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison, 5 out of 5 stars. The Virginian by Owen Wister, 4 out of 5 stars. Glenn Meridian or The Evening Redness in the West by Cormac McCarthy, 4 out of 5 stars. Hondo by Louis L'Amour, 4 out of 5 stars. Riders of the Purple Sage by Zane Grey, 3 out of 5 stars. American Born Chinese by Jean Luen Yang, 4 out of 5 stars. No Country for Old Men by Cormac McCarthy, 4 out of 5 stars. Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs, 4 out of 5 stars. The Summer I Turned Pretty, the first in the Summer Trilogy by Jenny Han, 4 out of 5 stars. The Long Haul, which is the ninth book in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series by Jeff Kinney, 5 out of 5 stars. Miss Lonely Hearts by Nathaniel West, 5 out of 5 stars. It's Not Summer Without You, which is the second book in the Summer Trilogy by Denny Han, 4 out of 5 stars. Let Us Go Then You and I, The Selected Poems of T.S. Eliot, 4 out of 5 stars. We'll Always Have Summer, which is the third and final book of the Summer Trilogy by Denny Han, 5 out of 5 stars. Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore by Robin Sloan, 5 out of 5 stars. William Shakespeare's Tragedy of the Sith's Revenge, which is the third book of the William Shakespeare's Star Wars series by Ian Dosher, 5 out of 5 stars. The Secret Sharer by Joseph Conrad, 3 out of 5 stars. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, 4 out of 5 stars. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, 4 out of 5 stars. Lost Stars by Claudia Gray, 4 out of 5 stars. In the final novel that I read in 2016, Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, 3 out of 5 stars. Thank you guys so much for just joining me along my reading journey and continuing to join me through the new year. I would love to know down below how many books that you read in 2016. Thank you all so much for watching and now I'm going to go get back to reading.